Journal Record Managing Editor Adam Brooks joins us to discuss other stories making news in business this week. Adam, an audit has uncovered some problems at the State Corporation Commission. What is of particular concern there? The state auditor was looking at the mineral owner's escrow account. It's got about $57 million in it, and this is a fund that's used when there's a forced pooling order and nobody's sure who owns some of the mineral rights. Uh, the state auditor said that they weren't keeping track of forced pooling orders or what money was coming in. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission said that it will correct the deficiencies. A British company has asked for an extension to appeal a major fine related to the city of Hugo's water. What's the story there? This is Severin Trent, who we told you a couple weeks ago had not put the right amount of chlorine in water for more than 300 days over two years. They were assessed a $3.1 million fine, the largest environmental fine in state history. Uh, they had some time to appeal. They've asked for an extension, so we don't know yet if they're appealing or if they're negotiating the fine down, and we don't really know when the new deadline is either. Okay. Oklahoma's biotech industry is attracting some foreign interest. Tell me about that. A Chinese company bought a company called Cytovance for $206 million. Cytovance is going to be able to expand and do more commercial grade production of pharmaceuticals for clinical trials, but there are some people who think this is a sign that there may be more foreign investment coming to our biotech sector. Good news. A decline in cattle sales is prompting consolidation in the industry. What does that mean to for consumers? Uh, it means higher dinner prices, basically. The cattle herd ni nationwide has been shrinking because of the drought, but there's also upward pressure because there's a lot of international demand for beef. So a couple years ago, beef was a little more than $3 for a pound, ground beef, and now it's over four fifteen a pound. Wow. An international energy consulting firm gave their uh, take on oil p prices to an audience this week. What did they have to say? Uh, not good news again. When oil prices first started to fall at the end of last year and through the start of this year, people thought they might bounce back by the end of this year, but now a lot of the predictions are saying we won't see $60 oil again until the end of 2016, and that could affect drilling budgets for next year and jobs as well. Wow. A lot to look at. Thank you very much, Adam. You're welcome.